I was really looking forward to the year 2000. Everything was great. We just moved into our new home with our children. Um, so I really prayed that I would give my life to God and that he would use me for his purposes. It didn't really turn out that way because two of my grandmothers had passed away five weeks between each other. And then I get this cancer diagnosis. All these different scenarios came into my mind. Um, you know, best case scenario, uh, they get the cancer out and I could move on with my life. Um, worst case scenario, the cancer has spread in my body and I'm no longer here. And then there was an in-between where it spread and I needed a hysterectomy and I would not be able to have another child. And my husband and I did want three children, so that hope kind of shattered. This is a scenario I may have to just accept. We were in a small group at that time period and the leader of our small group decided to organize a prayer time for me. And they were gonna lay hands and anoint me with oil before my surgery the next morning. So it was a rainy night. Nobody really, I thought, would show up. But 20 people showed up and they fasted for me. And they laid hands and they anointed me with oil. And I felt a lot of peace and gratitude just surround me and just, you know, really lifted me up in prayers of healing. So I, I had a lot of thoughts going through my mind that night, but I think I was just overwhelmed with, with gratitude and surrender. So the next day I go through the surgery and the doctor says that they will find out the following day if they've removed all the cancer out of my system. And when the doctor called, there was a pause, and I said, am I okay, am I okay? And he said, actually, we can't find anything. And then I had the flashback of when the nurse put that jar in front of my face that I didn't want to see, and I saw with my own eyes the cancer cells. And then I remembered that my small group leader, when he was anointing me with oil and laid hands on me, he was praying that the doctor wouldn't find anything. And at that time, I thought it was ludicrous to even have that thought. But they came flooding back to me. And then I realized that that was how God wanted to use me that year. That he wanted me to have this testimony and to write this testimony and to share even 23 years later. And two years later, we had a third child, completely healthy, our son, Brandon.